Joined by Chargers defensive coordinator Gus Bradley, Jacksonville to Los Angeles. How's that feel? I know, huh? It's a little <laughs> bit of a whirlwind, but a good whirlwind. But, uh, you know, just really excited. I mean, not only the opportunity to, to come out here, the, the staff, uh, to meet new people and to, the part of working with new people and really a, a, a staff that is so competitive. And then you hear the team is the same way. It's an exciting time. What are your early impressions of this staff now that you're getting to know the other coaches and coordinators? Well, I think it's a challenging staff where you feel really, you know, a, an environment where you can go challenge each other. And uh, that means there's not a lot of egos. I think everybody has an ego, but to have that environment, you have an opportunity to really grow in the, in the whether it's offense, defensively, or special teams. So I, I think that's what's most exciting. Head coach for the Jaguars for the last four years. What do you take from that experience that stays with you from here on out? Wow. Well, I do know this. There's a lot of really good people in the NFL, I think, going through the, the whole experience. And I think that, uh, you know, you learn to deal with different personalities. And uh, hopefully that experience will help me because we'll have different personalities in our building and with our players. And hopefully that, uh, you know, you can relate to them better. You can help, you know, each other grow and, and go from there. Now you obviously have head coaching experience. Ken Wisenhunt has head coaching experience. I would think for Anthony Lynn, who is new to the head coaching realm, it's got to be nice to be able to lean on you guys when necessary if, if he wants to. Uh, more Ken than me. <laughs> no, you know what? Just because I think for Anthony's done a great job. I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Anthony and just had a chance to meet with him. And then so many people call me about what it is. And just a short time together, you can see he's very strong, very convicted on how he thinks this team should be put together so I don't think he'll need much help. He's got his vision yes. but he can lean if he needs to all right that's what I'm saying. All right you have a roster that uh, is full of some talent there you got Joey Bosa, uh, Casey Hayward, Brandon Meebane who you are reunited with your time in Seattle, Jason Verrett what are the possibilities when you look at this roster? What excites you? What are the possibilities with the defense? Well, I think every time you're going out and you're interviewing at jobs, you take a look at the roster and say, all right, what we want to do, how many of these players do we have a place for? And there's a good fit. And I think that's what was so appealing was I looked and I said, uh-huh, I know where Joey would play. I know where Kyle would play. I know where Jason would play. You know, and, and you put it together and you say, what? You know, it's pretty impressive. And with all the injuries that took place and just how well they did. So, uh, but a highly competitive unit. Also though this is a defense that fourth best in the league in takeaways last season very improved um, 28 total fourth worst in the league in points allowed how do you turn around that last part quickly? Well I think they did a very good job I mean obviously John Pagano a very good defensive coordinator so it's our job to add what they've already built here. I think the overall is I think similar philosophies as far as playing fast on the field and hopefully you guys play fast you get those turnovers and you know you hold teams from getting in the in the end zone and uh, third down and red zone are big big situational parts of the game. What do you want this defense to be known for? What do you want the characteristics to be? Well, hopefully when teams put this, you know, they watch us and they say, you know what, it's a team that plays really fast. They're really fast, they're really physical, and uh, they play hard every play. And, uh, you know, I think that's a mentality, but it sounds like a lot of these players have that mentality, so it'll be just adding to it. Finally, a small town in Minnesota. Tell everyone what the name of this town is. <laughs> Zum Zumbada. Zumbroda. Zumbroda. Yeah. What do you take from your small town experience that has stuck with you for your entire life? Well, uh, you know, I think there, when you're in a small town, it's important to be genuine. And, you know, and I think that's, that's, that's what I learned there. I think everywhere I've been, you know, the players or the coaches that come up, and, you know, that's the part that we always talk about was not to lose that genuine. And in college, it's, you know, it's pretty easy to protect, but sometimes in the NFL, uh, you can lose it. So I think that's a big part of it is never to forget where I grew up and how important that being genuine is. Yes, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you more this season. Okay, thank you.